Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this uh, F4 flight controller and PDB combo board from HGLRC. It's the F4 Flame. And it comes in this nice little package. And here are some of the specs. It's got an F4 processor, MPU 6000 gyro, Betaflight OSD, 5 volt 3 amp regulator, uh, current sensor on the ESC as well, up to 300 amps. It will take 2 to 6s voltage. It has 16 megs of flash data for the black box. So inside the packaging you get the board itself and you get some other little accessories here. So inside is a little card here with a diagram uh, showing all of the different uh, pinouts and stuff to connect to and I'll actually go over this on the board in a second. You get some nylon standoff screws and nuts for mounting the board and they are including this uh, capacitor. It's a 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor. So here's the board itself here. We got most of the F4 flight controller on the top and then on the bottom is going to be the PDB components and this features over 90 capacitors on the board here. You can see lots and lots of capacitors. Uh, it's for filtering the noise from the ESCs and the motors so you get less uh, noise in your video. Here is the current sensor. You've got a large 3 amp 5 volt regulator there. So on the other side here, you've got your F4 chip, your Betaflight OSD chip. This is your chip for your 16 megs of black box data. And then this is your gyro. And then going around the board, let's go over some of the pinouts. First, you get the ESD connections here in the corners, which is nice. You get your positive, negative, and signal. So the board should be oriented this way, the error forward that way. So this is the front. So then motor 1 would be here, motor 2 would be over here, 3, and then 4. Got your uh, bootloader button here, so if you need to uh, flash the board, you can uh, boot up in DFU mode by holding the button and powering on. On the bottom here, you got your leads for your battery, and then between the leads here, you've got your little connections here for your video transmitter. And I believe that is uh, battery power coming out of here. And here on the left side of the board, you have your connections for your buzzer and for the LED over here. And then here on the top of the board you have your connections here for your receiver. So you have 3.3 volts ground 5 volts. And then you have DSMX, PPM, and SBUS. So you can uh, connect a variety of different receivers here in that way. Just above that is going to be your connections for your camera. You got your negative camera uh, video signal and 5 volts here. So 5 volts comes out for the camera connection. And then inside here you have a few other um, solder pads for your different UARTs, like UART 6 here, and also for RSSI if you want to use those pads. And then back on the uh, bottom board again, here's your USB port. And then something to make note of is that uh, all of the different uh, connection points are also labeled on the bottom as well. So if you are soldering from the bottom, you'll be able to tell what that is without having to flip the board over, which is nice. So this board comes pre-flashed for Betaflight 315. However, you probably want to update this to the latest version, 3.2.1, and uh, the target you want to use is the Omnibus F4. So as I mentioned before, this uh, board does come with a current sensor that can uh, measure up to 300 amps of current. And one of the nice things about having a single board solution here is that you don't have to uh, deal with a bunch of extra wires going from the flight controller to the PDB when you want to measure your current. So, for example, on some, some setups you have like a F4 flight controller and then the current sensor is on the flight controller part, but not on the PDB, so then you'd have to wire up your wires to the PDB and then have extra wires going to the flight controller and then back to the PDB. It's just a bit, it just makes a big mess. Having a single board like this is going to be a really good solution if you want to uh, measure your current without a bunch of wires going all around and save weight and space. So if you guys are looking for a solution that combines two boards into one, your flight controller and PDB into one board, to save some space and weight, this is definitely one to check out. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking this product out. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.